And good afternoon, it's Thursday, May 19th in the TI Now studio on the TIA 2011 inside the network event floor and Spring Policy Summit, and this is DCB Live. And as the demand for wireless devices increases, so does the demand for increased data traffic capacity. The limited amount of radio frequency spectrum will force future wireless systems to use more efficient resource allocation methods to increase their network capacity. Our guests today will be able to reflect their unique perspectives on the spectrum shortage. You know, it's a multifaceted issue. On the industry side, there is clearly a need to utilize the resources, the spectrum resources in place now and, and in the pipeline more efficiently and effectively. Uh, companies like Likeline, but you know, others in industry as well, our, our, our partners and competitors are all introducing solutions to, to make spectrum, to make the technology behind the networks much more efficient. And you know, there's a lot, a lot there in terms of you know, multiple antennas, aggregating spectrum, uh, you know, going to small cell deployments to fill coverage gaps. Well, I, I think regulators have a really difficult challenge. On the one hand, I think regulators are trying to be forward-looking. They're trying to anticipate where the market's going to go and, and to establish policies that really prepare the way for the future of mobile broadband. I think at the same time, they're also dealing with leg legacy regulatory structures that, uh, to some extent, constrain the room they have to operate. And so that's a real challenge for them. I think there's been some really great thinking uh, and work that's happened at the FCC, for example, in the National Broadband Plan, to try to anticipate that future and pave the way for mobile broadband services. Um, and, and, and one of the great examples of trying to move from that legacy model into a mobile broadband future, I think, is the work that the, the FCC has done on incentive auctions, for example, taking legacy spectrum and then finding ways to put it to uh, its highest and best use uh, in, in terms of mobile broadband.